Hey folks, it's your old buddy Gerald here from Buzzsprout.com, Gerald's Restoration. Hey man, you guys want some? <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing well, and it's a lovely Friday night to spend it with me. Hey, you don't got nothing else better to do, do you? Okay. Um, hey man, I got a couple guitars here that I want to show you that I picked up here a couple hours ago. This is probably my fifth time trying to do this video of always getting interrupted <laughs> um so anyway i'm uh, going to show you these um i paid 30 bucks for the pair two of them they're acoustic guitars but obviously the one was thrown in for free because it's it's in pretty bad shape and i'll show it to you but the first one i want to show you now this one came with the case now for my buddy james and for those of you that have never seen an acoustic guitar with a maple neck. Now, obviously, you've seen electric guitars with maple necks, you know, like, you know, like my Austin Telly or whatever. Um, but here is one of the acoustics, okay, that I got. This is the first one. This is the good one. So, James, my buddy, there you go. Acoustic guitar, maple fretboard. <whistles> what do you think of that? Ain't that cool? So, just really cool. Got cream binding around it and got this like a flat black whatever. And I'm actually going to get some more and color this in. So, man, that'll look bad. That'll look, that'll right there will look groovy. A black acoustic guitar but with a maple fretboard. You're not going to see that very much, very often. Okay. Um, so, and a couple of the strings are broke. I actually took a couple of strings... I'm taking a couple strings off of the other one and putting it on this one. <laughs> Why? Because I can. Um, just for now, until uh, we clean this sucker up and put... Uh, I might put a set of... Um, oh, do the Willie Nelson thing on this guitar. You know, kind of like I did with my... Uh, pink... With my pink crescent guitar here. And obviously, this did, this didn't come from a used store. This came from um, eBay. Thirty four dollars, brand new, right here, buddy. Okay, so some of the strings, yeah. The, come to find out, that wasn't good. I love these little guitars. What g number guitar does this make for me? Was it twenty five, twenty six guitars? Almost got thirty guitars, folks. Hey, I'm getting there. I gotta have thirty more. <laughs> but yeah, it's really a cool guitar. Uh, I don't know any. I don't know anything about it. If you look down in the hole down there, you all, I don't can't see anything. Can you? I don't think so. Here's the back of the tuners. The uh, it's the side post, not the top post. And look how and look how uh, narrow inside them, and and look how much room you got in there to uh, put your strings in there. I mean, obviously you can. But I kind of like them a little bit bigger before they stick out a little more. Okay. Now, actually, this thing did come with. But look at the action. Look at the action on that thing. That is crazy. So I'm going to have to do some filing on the nut here or whatever. Okay. There's not much to file on the bridge right here. On the saddles, there's not much to. There's not much to bridge right there. <laughs> bridge the gap, you know. Okay. But. I like to have that action sit down just about like that right there. So it's going to have to come down about a good half inch. Almost a half inch. You know. But anyway, I digress. Um, so you guys just let me know what you think about that. James, my buddy. Yeah, that's nice, ain't it? Real sweet. Um, you got a little bit of bulging going on back here, which means this guitar has been hot or whatever. Um... But it's it sounds great. Look. Okay, it's got that cheap sound. You know, I love that cheapy sound. But there it is. Okay. Now the other thing with this guitar that I that came with it that was on the uh, fretboard, and I took it off because my God, folks, the action would have been riz crazily high, and it came with a metal nut to go on top of it. Okay, look at that. So you could actually make it a slide guitar 
or an acoustic guitar or you know but if your guitar has a um, metal nut you're in business okay because your frets are metal why not have your nut metal it's all about your nuts <laughs> on the guitar okay you guys got dirty minds <laughs> Anyway, let me show you this case. Now, the case, I don't know how many of you guys have... James, my buddy, here's the case to this thing, man. I know it's going to kind of look a little weird, different color on your end. This is an old case, buddy. I say it's probably back in the 70s, maybe. At least 70. You know, about 75 or somewhere in there. Look at the handle. I mean, when's the last time you guys seen a guitar case like this? Okay. It's kind of like cardboard. And it's kind of got that green... Because, you know, disco and everything, it was all about green, you know, whatever. Cars had green interior. So that kind of gives you the hint that this was kind of like back in the 70s or whatever. It's, it's a nice case, but it is an old case. And the guitar goes in at the bottom. Okay. And actually, yeah, see, it's green on the inside. So this is old. Probably about 74, 70. In the 70s, I know that this guitar was. So, the case came with it. Okay. Now the other one. Ain't, the, ain't that a pretty guitar, folks? Ain't that stupid? $89, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, go out and try you one of these Austin Tellies. Man, you're going to be amazed. You're going to, I'm telling you, you're going to be pleased. Feels a lot better quality than that Squire one that I got. Okay, so, yeah, you can't mess with that one. Um, now, the other one here is a pile. Okay, <laughs> check this out. James, my buddy, what do you think? Gerald, Gerald it's, uh, dang, man, that looks, that looks old. Yeah, you, you got that right. See, I don't know anything about this one either. You look down in the hole down in there. You won't be able to see anything. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see anything? It's a black hole. <laughs> like in space. Okay. Look at the bridge. Ain't that cool? It's, an, it's a sweet guitar. But my God, folks, look at the rust on these frets. James, my buddy, check this. Check out these frets. Check out the rust. Good Lord, I don't think I've ever seen frets that bad. I doubt if Scott has either. But you get look at them frets. Look how rust. Look how rusty that crap is. You can't even see the frets. Hell, I can't even see them. Well, but those are bad. Man, this guitar is old. I can rub on that with my finger. And look at my finger. See? Oh, ain't it cute? So here's the key tuners right here. I took a couple of strings off of here to put on this other guitar because I'm going to get this guitar going. Obviously, i got to file the nut, and I'll let you guys hear it when I get done. This guitar right here is probably 50s, maybe 60s. But I love buying these old classic vintage beat-up guitars. And right there, James and my buddy, right there, folks, is where the uh, damage is. This guitar got wet, and it cracked. Obviously, this guitar has been abused over its life. And I just don't know why people, you know, why people got to do it. Look at here. In the back. See that? Yep, got a crack all the way back there. Yeah, back crack, not a butt crack, <laughs> but a back crack. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and I've got to be me. Hey, it ain't me. It ain't you without me. Or whatever. Oh, um, I'm only you. I'm only me when I'm with you. Uh, oh, there's more to me than you. Oh, it's just a gender. Never mind. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to have to get some wood epoxy. And, hey, this right here might be a good art project for my 3D art class. Because it's building. I'm going to fix this. And uh, so I'll ask my uh, art instructor, Miss April, okay, if uh, I can do this for art class or be a project. She said anything at the end of the school year that you want to do at the end of the semester will be your choice and by gummit this right here might be my choice right here <laughs> okay so I don't know but then again she might let me okay so 
hey, it don't hurt to ask, does it? Okay. <laughs> so, she's awesome, folks. Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys. Um, I, I'm getting ready to do a, start a project here. Got to make a sculpture of some kind. So I don't know what in the flipping world I'm going to do, but I think I might have an idea. I'm going to work on it this week. It's due the 31st. <laughs> so I better get on it and get it done. So, um, so, you know, I like to point out not just my friends that I meet here, but to my instructors too. And uh, she, uh, Miss April, has seen Gerald's Restoration now, seen me right here. She says, you know, you got a lot of videos on your channel. Yeah, I do. I've been doing this for many, many years, for a long time. Um, so, it's been amazing. I've met a lot of famous, I've met a, I've met a, lot, of, a lot of you guys just by just hanging out here, helping you all. And this, is, this is my job right here to demonstrate guitars, guitar lessons, music, whatever. Just, it's just... It's just my lifestyle. Music is my life, folks. Music, doing this for y'all is my life. That I, this pleases me. I am pleased. But, <laughs> anyway, with all that jazz said and done, you guys let me know what you, James, what do you think, my buddy? What would you do with this? Okay. Um, see, like I said, man, I don't even know anything about the guitar. Now, let me show you the nut. Actually, the nut broke. Okay. It actually, it has a metal nut too, but here's the uh, amount, okay, it goes right here, okay, it goes right here, you know, just like a normal nut does, but, okay, it goes, it goes like this, and then you take the metal piece, and you'll take the metal nut, because see, it's got the string slots, but it's metal. See, that's metal. That's that's metal. That's not plastic. And then you put it like this. Okay. And there you go. Okay. I was trying to see if I seen any um uh what you what the freaking, oh, any uh, string slots in here, but you can actually whittle that out.